Ah, whoa, ah, whoa, well, looks like I've got the wrong room, right? <laughs> I don't think you're here for me. I, as a matter of fact, I know you're not here for me. I think you're here for this. What we have here is the HP Pavilion 6630. Came out sometime between 1999 and 2000. Can't figure out exactly when. What I can figure out is there's a 500 megahertz Celeron here with 64 megabytes of PC100 SD RAM. And as terms to 1999 to 2000, this is as low end as low end as it gets. This computer was mostly used with using the internet in mind. You shouldn't hook this thing up to a network, even if you could manage to get a modern operating system onto this thing. There is no way this thing is safe to keep on the internet. It just doesn't have the instructions for that. So I would avoid even installing a modern operating system on this thing to use as an internet box, especially with only 64 megs of RAM. As you noticed, uh, as for a computer that came out in 1999 or 2000, this ha it has a little Windows 98 sticker on here. This computer does not have Windows 98 on it, and that is for good reason. It was upgraded to XP at some point. 2000 probably would have been a better decision here. However, this is the original image it was upgraded to, so I don't have to do any of that, and I don't want to install 98, because we all know how that goes. I play roulette and blow brands out soon, duh. And this has all the drivers pre-installed. I'm pretty sure it's got the chipset drivers. Now there's something very, very special about this computer. This contains the Intel 810 chipset. That is Intel's first integrated AGP 3D accelerated chipset. Not only does that mean that this thing has onboard 3D accelerated graphics, uh, usable up to 11 megabytes of VRAM out of that 64, so you can kind of see the issue there. Now, there's one little problem with this integrated chipset on the eight, from the 810. That is, inside this PC, there is no AGP slot. As you know, before PCIe, PCI and AGP was used for 3D acceleration and graphics, mainly AGP for 3D acceleration. Now that doesn't have that, meaning you're stuck with either using PCI or the better in this situation, AGP, which we don't have. Ah, uh, well, that's no problem. It's got integrated AGP. It's gotta be good, right? Here, let me ask you this. GMA graphics, were those good? What about the first HD graphics? Were those good? No, they weren't good. So the odds of this thing being good, not at all. We can, however, do a couple cool things on here that I would like to kind of go over today. Doom 2. Through Z Doom actually runs pretty flawlessly. So if you do want to play those like early 90s titles from that early 90s era, you definitely can. However, your results may vary when you start to get into later 90s and newer game titles. Newer in terms of uh, when this computer was released. You're not gonna be running Cyberpunk on this thing. Or can we? No, we're not. Um, Okay, as you can see, we are running, we are running Half-Life 1 here in software mode. Uh, it's not running very well. Uh, I'd say about, oh gosh, what is that? I'd say about 20 FPS. Like I had said before, this computer is really not for gaming. It was made with internet tasks in mind. The fact that it can game is a fortunate side effect of it being built the way it was. In terms of upgradability, you really can't. The BIOS is locked down on this thing, so it only supports this Socket 370 Celeron. There's no possible way to put in the equivalent Pentium. Now, when it comes to RAM upgradability, you're gonna be pretty limited. You're only gonna be able to upgrade this thing 300 and some megabytes. That's unfortunate and ironic, considering the fact that this thing was made to be an internet machine. And, now, to even consider hooking this thing up to a modern network is lunacy. When it comes to offline general compute tasks, I don't see why this machine couldn't get the job done. I mean, it still does Excel, it still does Word, but there is something that you can do. You can go ahead and take one of these old early 2000 camcorders and you can go ahead and record some Y2K footage. Just don't expect to be able to play the footage back in real time, because, uh, that's not happening. Really, what I wanted to talk about was this specific Intel 810 chipset. Integrated AGP. It's just, it's, 
That's kind of crazy. It's kind of insane. It's interesting. I have a computer that's roughly from this era that is way better. And the only real difference about it is it's got standard parts and an AGP slot. Now, I have there, this thing has no reason to continue to work. The optical drive is dead. Pretty sure the floppy drive is dead. And the hard drive's on its way out. But before this thing dies, I wanted to talk once about Intel's first 3D accelerated chipset. And uh, I've talked about it. So uh, that was the HP, that was the HP 6630. Enjoy.